Well, hello there, you two, and welcome to Sunday, the 5th of November. It's my, uh, my sister's birthday today. Happy birthday, Sonia. <laughs> but, um, I don't think she ever watches anything. But, uh, anyway, it's about 50, I think the last time I seen it, it was like 52. Good Lord. What are some of them things they're setting off out there? Because that sure is loud. But, um, it hasn't been raining but it's a uh, you know threats of rain off and on it did sprinkle a couple times but i mean it was so light i wouldn't even consider it rain but uh kind of windy a little bit again today but uh it is well probably now it's probably about five after two sunset today because the time changed at two something this morning and uh so we well, we gained an hour of sleep, but we lost an hour of daylight. The clocks go back um, one hour. So sunset tonight is at 4.50. So in reality, we have about an hour and 20 minutes of, of uh, daylight left, of good daylight. Because a uh, rule of thumb around here is uh, take, take about a half an hour off a of sunset. Now, if it's a beautiful sunny day in the summertime because of how it, the summer sets and, or the sun sets, there's less mountains at that time of year that it's breaking through. We're going to have those beautiful, golden, just absolutely gorgeous sunsets to go riding in. But uh, no, she takes a, a, a sweeping path in the southern sky now. She still rises and sets, you know, from east to west. But it's distinctly in the southern sky, where it's almost in the northern sky. At one point, <laughs> that's how you get we get those crazy long days. What are you doing, Sashi, over there? I see you sneaking around out there. She's looking to see what the old man's up to. But never was it nice and sunny today. Unfortunately, it's been kind of doomy and gloomy. They can happen that way. There's Sashi and Annie out there. A couple of bean heads. Sashi on the weekend, she don't like to stay out for too long. She gets cold. She's she's getting older. She, like, she likes that warmth of the inside. Especially earlier day because the grass was just soaking wet with dew and everything. And whatever rain hit last night. And sidewalks are wet. She don't like... <laughs> she's like a cat she don't like getting her feet oh I'm pointing the camera in here she don't like getting her feet wet we call her a princess for, for good reason she is the princess oh man they even left a hole looking out through there that was getting well it still needs some more work but it was getting very jungleified. look even the hardly any leaves land on my bistro table that gets really pretty when it all lands on the day, especially when they're nice, fresh fall leaves. That's really nice. I think Kelly and I are going to do what we are going to do yesterday. This is a, a, a for Kelly mission. And uh, we'll explain as we as we get rolling along. I think we're going to leave here pretty soon. We're going to have a little bite to eat and then uh, roll out. But uh, welcome to the day. I'm loving that I'm uh, getting back into the the DJI for for doing vlogs be curious to see how this mic works in the uh, in the automobile Let's see if it cause sometimes especially in you know like modern cars you know and Honda specifically they um, use this sound absorbing glass well how it does it is the glass kind of ricochets and it's noise canceling well microphones on a vlogging camera that freaks some things out if you wonder if your your glass has that or not go down the road well don't go freeway speeds because it'll literally hurt your ears but go down the highway and roll one of the windows down just pick one well that is a hole that the sound resonating or canceling doesn't work so it creates creates this really weird ricochet in the car and literally hurts your ears because it goes wah, 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 really bad close that window you can leave them crack but uh yeah you can't just fully open one <laughs> it's lovely because you're in the car and it's just so quiet 
And um, but anyway, all glass is that way. That's why when you get your windshield, don't have the the guy that comes out with the truck and puts it inside there. You have to specifically say you want the OEM windshield. You got insurance. You're only going to pay so much. Just don't have a really high deductible because uh, it'll cost you every bit of whatever your deductible is. <laughs> they are expensive. And uh, they generally don't. They don't. They prefer you use one of the cheap companies. But those, those cheap auto glass things, unless you're going to throw the car away really quick and, you know, give that nightmare to the next owner. They even scratch. Like around here, you got log trucks and stuff that sling all kinds of mud and everything in the air. Oh, look at that. The sun's starting to come out. Um, that gets on your windshield. And as it's cleaning itself off, it is scratching your windshield badly. It's nuts. The OEM ones, it takes years and years and years and years. Well, the that old Toyota truck that my son now has it took 50 years and they're not as scratched as bad as a car i had for two years so yeah big difference and then when the gra glass gets all scratched up it eats up your windshield wiper blades and you're replacing them at a very unusual rate so um, hopefully you got an insurance company like mine i tell them i want oem glass and they they okay it but you're never going to get that free windshield. <laughs> you know, you get one shield a year type of thing. Yeah, that's with the cheap glass. Plus, nowadays, they got all the sensors that have to be reset. It's what really jerks me around. Because, you know, they hook that thing up. They got a computer they hook it up to. takes literally, you know, just a, a few minutes. And they charge you up to like $300 to reset the sensors in your windshield. Crazy. I got into that story. <laughs> I just the flash in the pan, kind of a thing. The thought came across my mind. But wouldn't you know it? As soon as we decide to leave, it's gonna right. pour down rain. Of course. Murphy's Law. Every time. Get you. Got some beautiful fall colors out there. Of course, by the time we got the camera on, I drove past it. Oh, I bet you're going down that hill there. But that's beautiful down that way. Man, it is flat coming down out here. I think we're just taking little back roads. Nasty out here. There's the old salvage yard in the pouring rain. Of course, the camera's probably looking at all the water spots on the window, though, huh? <laughs> holy moly, I'm glad I'm not going down that freeway. This gracious. We're gonna try going under the old rickety bridge. The callus is starting to uh, rise in water level. Ooh, that. That's beautiful. Look at that. Love them oh man. This is what we're coming here for. The little woman looking at her Facebook stuff found some some craft crafty crafty ideas out here we have to turn the AC on to get the defrost to work we're fogging up we're breathing in here mama quit breathing papa. so let's see what the little woman can find in here <laughs> dollar general Vader Washington. Crazy little cat craft ideas this woman comes up with. She turns on the automotive side and well, she's after these plates. She's got something she does with them. Remember in the early days we used to go to that, what was that thing at Yardbirds? Oh. Food Mart, not. Uh, 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 think that we yeah. Yeah. Whatever it was, you used to go there all the time. These Dollar Generals are great for just little things you miss or need. And, and even craft ideas. <laughs> she found an actual craft 
area here. Doesn't look very big, but they got... Oh, yeah, it's got stuff all through here. Oh, she's finding things. It must be working. I love it when stores are just packed. Where you can barely walk through them. I remind you of the old days. So many stores were. They didn't build a bigger building. They just put it in there tighter. <laughs> <laughs> The stuff she's already grabbing here. Under her ribbon be gone. This is obviously the party aisle. <laughs> Got balloons and stuff if you needed them. Here. <laughs> I'm laughing at your little poster part full of little little gee dunks there, Mama. I know. Cool looking Christmas cards. It's a very strong smell of cinnamon in here. Yeah, I definitely can smell cinnamon. That's very Christmassy. I tell you, Mama, that is truly small town. Mm -hmm. That's cool though. I like small. Yeah. I mean, just the people, conversations they're having. I mean, not eavesdropping, but they're blazing it out there. You can't, I know it. can't help but to hear it. And it's like, man. It does remind you of a little small southern town somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. A little Dollar General. People used to going in there looking for something. Mm -hmm. They can get at a cheaper price, kind of a thing. Oh well. <laughs> Unfortunately, she didn't find like the stuff she was looking for. It's a, it's another do dollar store she has to go through. Yeah, I mean Dollar Tree. Yeah, so we'll see if there's one there in Van Chulo. Yeah. Swing by one after work or something. There we go. Because it's gonna be dark anyway. Yeah, it's it'll be like dark when we leave sun. work. Yeah. Look, it's only 4:22. Look how dark it is. Yeah. 4:50 sunset. Yeah. What is rattling back there? The car's coming apart. Hey, she, she's wore in. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Mama. Let's All right. head home in the rain. Sounds good. We did miss a train. We're coming out, we're loading stuff in the car. It was an Amtrak though, so. But train's a train. You come out here and hit this little crane once again. I Yeah, our anniversary, like five years ago, I think, the last time. Red over red, just a bunch of red. There is one coming though. Yeah. You see that? I seen the light. Well, I won't say anything. Maybe you didn't notice it. <laughs> <laughs> a little rainy night in our little town of Toledo. You come into it and you drive right back out. <laughs> we like it. That's not even a Napa store anymore. I didn't even pay attention to the signs were missing off of there. Crazy, huh? Cowlitz River down there. Yeah, she's definitely, definitely getting fuller again. Imagine that. What the rain does. Then when it warms up like it did yesterday, all the snow comes off the mountains. Yeah. Happens in a hurry. So, it was pouring down rain the whole time. Oh, Tony, from the east eastern side of Washington, said he goes, I haven't seen Danny Magoo in the videos in a while. There's old Magoo, there's Abilene. Yeah, good old Danny, he's a good boy. He is a good boy. Yeah, he's all beans. Well, <laughs> you always jump up, honey. It's funny, like, what we're gonna do now, the girls are in their pen, and we'll go grab the stuff from the car, put everything away. That way we can just come out, grab the girls, and take them straight in. 
Danny will not come in the house. He'll come over there and he'll sit right at their gate yep, and we'll won't move down. until he'll we come waiting. get him. It's like he's going, um, you guys forgot something. You forgot the girls, guys. Yep. Forgot the, the sisters. We'll be back here in a second here, Sashi Annie. Couple of them. No. The oh. <laughs> All right. Not even five o'clock yet. Look how dark it is, Mama. I know. This is precisely sunset. It is 4.50 at the moment. That old barn disappears out there when it gets dark, doesn't it? Sashi Annie. We leave you in the pen, huh? Hi, Sashi. Hi, yo, I see you, Annie. <laughs> hey, you want to knock the fence over. Down. Sasha patiently waits her turn. Danny out here doing his guard dog thing. Why you to go up there first? Because <sighs> I'm the she she, I am the princess. I is the princess. <laughs> well, hello there, you two. That's about five minutes later. Look how dark it is now. Of course, the camera is trying to disguise a lot of that. It's dark. Mm -hmm. Dark enough, anyway. There's still twilight in the skies, but that's about it. Dark enough for lights to come on. Yeah, all the motion or, yeah, motion sensing lights and whatever, they all come on. But, yeah, oh yeah, but if it's bright enough out, they won't come on. So it's dark enough that the motion lights work. Yeah, that's what we meant. Yeah. <laughs> But you had me explain it. That gets funky. <laughs> that kind of goes around. <laughs> Sometimes. But anyway, that was kind of fun. Just going off and playing around in an old, old dollar store like that. That was cool. Mm -hmm. It's a bummer they didn't have all the stuff that she was looking for. But I think there's a dollar tree right down the... That's the place that they were advertising has the thing she was looking for. But yeah. we don't have one near us. So Anyway. Christmas is still a bit away, so. Yes, and it takes time to make decorations. Yeah. Look at Birds. Birds freaking out in the tree there. Sound like they flew, like it flew right past us. <laughs> but anyway, I think on that, we're going to call it a day. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Monday or Tuesday. Heck yeah. All right. And we'll see you in the morning. See you then. Thanks for watching, though. Bye-bye. <laughs>